In tonight's News 8 Investigates report, disorderly conduct, Martha Koloski explains a long ongoing dispute between La Crosse's Technical College and Police Department and how it's left these two important community resources at odds. Hi, Mike. Well, this situation between Western Technical College and the La Crosse Police Department actually goes back to August of last year. La Crosse's police chief says he became aware that one instructor at Western's Law Enforcement Academy was leveling accusations about the department being racist in front of their students who were studying to be future police officers. The dispute has caused the chief to no longer send their recruits to Western's Police Academy. And through emails I obtained through the Freedom of Information Act, La Crosse Police Chief Ron Tischer wrote to Western's president, Roger Stanford, saying, quote, it's been brought to my attention that an instructor with the Law Enforcement Academy has been telling students the La Crosse Police Department is, quote, full of racists and that you shouldn't work there. In that same email, Chief Tischer stated, I had heard rumors that one or more of the law enforcement instructors were critical of our department and imposing their opinions on students. This rumor has recently been confirmed. Tischer ended his email with, I implore you and your staff to investigate this matter and ensure us that this uneducated, unprofessional, ill-informed instructor immediately cease this activity. Well, the dispute has caused the chief to stop sending their new recruits to Western Technical College for police training. And although the chief himself has, was not doing interviews about this today, a member of the Police and Fire Commission did have this to say. There were some concerns. Uh we understand it, so perhaps some personnel at Western that might have been affecting our recruitment. And that's why some of our younger people are, are now taking their training up at Chippewa Valley rather than here. And the commission's concern is not specific Western or anything else, but if there's anything that has a bearing on our ability to attract qualified officers, that's why we're concerned. Now, according to other documents I acquired, Western completed its own internal investigation into this matter in September of last year. When I asked for the results of that investigation, I was told they've since started a new investigation into the same issue, but have since gone to an outside third party to look into it. As far as what Western officials have to say about these overall accusations, this is the response I got in an email. The contractor has not yet provided any findings, conclusions, or other reports. Since this is a current investigation of potential misconduct of a college employee, we cannot release more information at this time. And finally, Mike, this conflict has implications for taxpayers, too. And here's why. In this email, Chief Tischer explained, the state pays for room and board when we send people out of the area. The state also pays $5,000 to each academy for each student. So WTC does not receive the $5,000, and the state taxpayers are on the hook for the room and board for the 18 weeks of the academy. And, of course, we'll keep you posted as this story continues to develop. Mike? Thanks a lot, Martha. In addition, Chief Tischer mentioned that sending recruits out of town for 18 weeks of training puts an extra burden on officers and their families.